What's up everyone? I am Megan and it is a dive cartwheel in kind of day. So we are going to work on our dive cartwheels. They are a great stepping stone to get your aerial. Okay, so I'm going to show you one real quick so you can see, you know, what this trick is all about. See? So basically, you're doing a cartwheel, but you're getting some lift into the cartwheel. So you need to use your pushing leg, you know, a little more with some added extra oomph. So what you wanna do is an underarm circle into it. You want an, a low and long hurdle, which is very important. Low and long. Now as you go into the hurdle, as your leg lifts for your hurdle, that's when you want to start circling your arms back. You see that? So my foot's not on the ground yet and my hands are still back. Something I notice a lot of students doing, actually had a girl just doing this the other day. As you go into it, you're circling, okay, and you're reaching. A lot of people circle too early. They'll go like this, and then they'll try and hurdle, it's not gonna work. You also don't wanna circle them late. It's as you're stepping, they're circling back. Think of like swimming or something, I don't know. Now as I step, you wanna get a nice big lunge on this leg. Nice and deep so that you have more push. Because if you only bend like this much, then look, ee, ee, I can't push, but if you're here, then you're gonna explode into the cartwheel world. I don't know what I'm talking about. Um, actually, I do, but you know what I mean. So, circle. Your foot's not on the ground yet. Step out far, because that's gonna help you in your aerial also. My arms are back. Now, you're gonna bend down, but you don't wanna lean the chest forward. Because if you lean your chest forward too much, you're gonna just plop right into the ground and then it's gonna be really ugly and kind of wimpy. So you're here. Now you're gonna lift the arms up to the ears as you start lifting and getting your back leg up to the ceiling, all right? As your hands hit the ground, you do not want them to hit at the same time. You want it to be one, two, all right? Because then it's kind of dangerous if they go at the same time. And you just, it's just bad news. Just don't even go there. So circle, big step, lift, right, left. If you're lefty, it'll be stepping on the left. Circle back, lift, drive your back leg, left, then right. Okay, now when your hands hit, your first hand hits, you need to have those shoulders really really pushed out okay as you're reaching you should already be starting to push that shoulder and extend with the ribs in as you step into it if you arch like this and try and do your cartwheel watch what happens oh it's scary to do it like that oh oh goodness yeah don't do that so as you're going into it ribs in nice and tight you're gonna look for your fingers push those shoulders out and then as your second hand hits you're gonna turn it in okay so it's right turn that second hand in okay so your fingers are pointing each other having a party saying hello to one another and then you are almost complete with your dive cartwheel um, you're gonna look at your hands try and keep your head in line you don't want it sticking out too far you don't want to duck it it's neutral. My coach, I think, said the word neutral like four million times. <laughs> so now you're ready to stand up. Oh, remember to squeeze your butt too, because if you have a butt out like this, then you're gonna have this position in your cartwheel and it's just gonna make you all out of whack and everything. Um, so really squeeze those buns. Um, and pull your chest up quick out of your dive cartwheel. Okay? Okay, so circle the arms, big step, lift. And pull that chest up. Okay? You, 
if you want, you can land in a lunge. And remember to square your hips and your shoulders as you come up. Okay? You don't want to be twisted. You want to be straight. Got it? So that pretty much covers it. You can do them from your knee. That's going to give you more, you know, power. And you're going to learn how to really work that leg. And you're going to get used to it. And then when you do it without yourself being on your knee from regulars, it's going to be so much easier. So your arms will be back, ribs in, because um, as you heard all, you just circled and you're about to go into it. So you're here, it's actually kind of tricky from your knee, it's harder. You really got to use this leg, get your back leg over your head fast, okay? And then you can do it from a step. So you can just, you know, stand tall, you can hold your right foot up or your left foot up if you're lefty, okay, in arms are going to be back and then you can just step and go right into it okay push and before your hands hit the ground I almost feel myself kind of like stretching it's almost like someone's like pulling my arms out and I'm extending my whole body long okay really nice and long and reach because if you only get your arms to here because if you only get because <laughs> if you only get your arms to here, look. I mean, come on. Circle. Get them up there to those ears. Explode off this leg. Do lots of kicks, back kicks, so you get that leg nice and strong. Make sure you have a perfect cartwheel, obviously, before you even try this. You should have a bad leg cartwheel, good leg cartwheel, uh, one arm cartwheel. And then you should be ready to try the dive cartwheel. So we'll show you one last one. Really reach it. And I'll attach my aerial video and how to do a cartwheel video at the bottom in the description. That one I really tried to give it the dive. I dove right in there. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, so great job everyone. Check out my channel if you want to learn any more tricks. And for my end of the workout trick, I'm just going to do an aerial, okay? Uh, since it's like, you know, the step after a dive cartwheel. Wow, I really am explosive today. Okay, we'll see you around. Bye-bye.